Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to do my try on from Nordstrom. I have a couple of dresses, some exercise. I didn't go crazy this year. I have not tried any of it on yet. I think that it all arrived. Shipping was not that bad. It really came within a week. So I was pretty impressed with that. Um, I also think that many of the things that I am showing you are still in stock because I don't buy what everyone else buys. Anyway, let's get started. I usually take all of my jewelry off so I don't snag the clothing in case I'm not keeping it. So that's why I'm pretty bare bones right now. And I cannot believe I am coming on camera and let y'all see the veins in my legs. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the first outfit is a dress and it is a wrap dress, but it's really not a wrap dress. It looks like a wrap dress but the waist does not wrap over. It is a very comfortable dress. I don't know what size I bought it in. I will have to put that down in the description box. I would say it fits true to size if I bought an eight. If I bought a 10, this dress runs small because I am normally an eight, but I buy dresses that have an actual waist to them a size up because they are usually too short for me because my waist is here. My waist is not here. Anyway, this dress is navy. It's white. I love the difference from the bottom having the white. It does have almost like a chartreuse yellow color um, that runs around the bottom. So it's just a little interesting detail. The sleeves are very loose and comfortable. And this is what it looks like in the back. It has a nice flow to it, which I like because it does cover up any junk in a trunk that you may not want the world to see. It's a very flattering dress, I will say. It does cut down fairly low, but you can go ahead and just tack it right there and then wear a beautiful necklace that will distract from how low it is. Uh, I don't feel that it is too revealing and it, if I move around, it actually stays in place. So again, this is from Eliza J. And it is a faux wrap dress. And I think it's quite beautiful. I love it. Very, very comfortable. I'll move a little bit closer so you can see the detail on the dress. Really beautiful. And the reason why I say I think it runs small is because it does fit me rather well. All right, my friends. So that is the first dress, Eliza J. outfit is another pretty dress. I absolutely love this. I will say that it's a little short-waisted, so if you are long-waisted like me, this does feel like it's a little too big right in this area, but I think I can get away with it. Unfortunately, Louis is not home, and I could not get the zipper zipped up all the way, so it does go all the way to the top, my friends. I just needed an extra set of hands and Holly and Lula have not learned how to use those paws without their thumbs, okay? But anyway, getting back to the dress, I think this is a Rachel Parcel, and this is a medium. I probably would try the large, but I think the large would be way too big on me in the waist area. I don't think it looks small and it doesn't feel small, but it is a very fitted dress on the top, and then it has pleats. The top is knit, the bottom is more of a polyester. It does hit below the knees, which I like. And in the back, it is beautiful. Again, it should zip all the way up to the top, but I don't have an extra set of hands. And I just think this is a really beautiful, beautiful dress. I'll come closer so you can see. It's very, very feminine, very, very, very elegant. It's very, very pretty, my friends. Again, this is Rachel Parcel. It is a size medium, and it's very, very comfortable, very feminine, a very, very pretty dress. But again, keep in mind that it runs a little short-waisted. I do think it's a beautiful, beautiful dress. Is from Tahari. It is from Arthur Levine collection 
and it's a little bit big in certain areas and it's also short i would prefer to go full length because i have short legs so this is going to make me look a little bit stocky maybe even chunky but it is a little bit too big in the lower half versus the upper half again i couldn't get it all the way zippered so we just have to make believe anyway uh, it has pockets it does have pleats and you can see that the pleats do not lay flat i don't like that it does have this is a faux wrap so it does come like this and then you just tie it it's a little sloppy here as well this pleat should lay down a little bit better although i suppose i could steam it and see but i don't think so it does have a lining which is nice because you can't really see through it and this is what the back looks like again it's a little bit sloppy looking on me so i don't think i'll be keeping this one but it is and i did buy it i think i bought this one in the 10. so maybe the eight would have been better on me although i think the pleats would have still pulled and this is a pet peeve of mine i don't like pleats that do this i like my pleats to be nice and neat and i i don't think that steaming is going to make the difference and here is a little tip this is how i feel i am i have wider hips so for me to wear slit pockets it accentuates the weight width of my hips so this is just a no this is a no-go for me okay uh, it is very pretty it's heavy so if you live in a warm climate such as florida or texas uh, this is very very heavy so it would definitely be worn towards the cooler days maybe in january I think that I will send this one back. This is just all wrong for me. I have short legs, I'm a little hippier, I'm long-waisted, and I'm smaller in my waist area than anywhere else on my body. So for me, this is too short-waisted. It stops here. My waist actually drops down here, and this is way up here, so it's already uncomfortable for me. It doesn't lay smooth here, it puckers out because I'm hippier, but I'm small in my waist, so it puckers out. The belt is too high for me. The legs are wide. This I don't mind because I think it can be very elegant to have wide legs to a jumpsuit. Again, side pockets, which will accentuate my hip area. So this one here is just all wrong. The sleeves are very thick. They're puffy, but it's very fitted underneath and it's lined. So this is, a, again, a very heavy jumpsuit. It doesn't feel feminine to me. It doesn't feel pretty on. So this is also a no-go for me. I just don't think it's flattering to my figure or anything. I mean, I think it really just makes me look dumpy. So unfortunately, this one is going to go back as well. I'll come closer so you can see, even though it's very unattractive, my friends. <laughs> Before we move on, I didn't like this so much that I didn't tell you any of the details. This is from Julia Jordan, I believe, in case somebody liked it and, it and you have the perfect body for it. It's from Julia Jordan, and the size that I purchased was an 8. So this, in fact, is something that I could not move up to a 10 in because it was so big on me and the waist already. And it probably would have looked even worse in the legs because there would have been more material. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next. I did not buy any new jeans or slacks, anything like that. So I just have on an old pair of page jeans. They're not, they're not new. I didn't recently buy them. They're a couple years old, all right? Okay, so, so the shirt that I am wearing is the blue, white, carpenter stripe boyfriend shirt, I believe and this is from treasure and bond it's very comfortable i like the flow of it you can tuck it in if you want or wear it loose i would wear it probably loose and then i'm going to put on a coat over it this is what i would wear on a chilly fall day something like this i wouldn't wear these shoes i would probably wear some booties or something like that but I also didn't buy any shoes, my friends. So these are an old pair of shoes. I wanted to show you that you can go ahead and undo the sleeves and then you have enough here to make a cuff, which I kind of like. 
So it does button and have a little cuff to it. So that's what it would look like with these sleeves down. Now when I'm wearing something loose like this, this is just me, uh, I like to have the sleeves pushed up a little bit. I just think it, it lends itself to a more feminine look and maybe just a little more sophistication to it. This is just having the sleeves hanging down. I just like to have them up a little bit. I just think it adds a little bit of sophistication to the actual shirt because it's so boxy. So that's just my preference, but for the next outfit, I'm going to leave the sleeves down. So now I'm just going to add a jacket over this that I think I'm madly in love with, okay? <laughs> All right, my friends, so this is me to a T. This is the type of jacket I like to wear in the fall. I like to wear this in the winter if I can get away with it. If I'm wearing like a warm sweater underneath and a jacket like this, then I'm not, I don't feel so bulky and I still feel stylish because there's nothing worse in the winter. We have to wear those big, big puffy jackets. They really don't flatter us in any way. They keep us warm though, so I'm not complaining. But if I could get away with it, this is the style of jacket coat I would wear throughout the fall winter. This is so soft. This is part of the Nordstrom Signature Collection, I believe. It was the most expensive thing I bought, but during a sale, you're really getting a good deal on it. It is like butter. It is like it's cashmere and wool, but there's no scratch at all going on, my friends, none. It does have pockets, but it's sewn up here, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. But it's just beautiful. Throw a scarf on with this, a beautiful silk scarf, or you can do a nice knit scarf, whatever you like. And you have a beautiful, a beautiful outfit that makes you feel good walking out in the fall and the winter. And it's very soft, it's very flowy. This is the medium. It's enough to wrap if I need to just hold it together because a gust of wind is coming and I don't want to blow away with it. It's just really a great, great jacket. It has no lining. You can see that's where the pockets are, but there's no lining to it. And it's just supposed to kind of flow down in the front. You can pull the sleeves up on this and just have a little bit of your shirt peeking out. Just really beautiful. I think this came in other colors, but this blue is just spectacular. I absolutely love this. I can not tell you how soft this is. I'm not sure that it's gonna be too much for Florida. I know in January it gets a little chilly here. I mean, some days are 40, so I'm thinking this is gonna stay with me because I just love it. I love it. The length of it is perfect. I mean, if you're wearing a dress, you know, that just goes right to there, it covers the whole dress. I mean, it just really, really is a spectacular coat, my friends. Okay, the next one is the Rails jacket. I tried to get this last year and it sold out immediately. This year I ordered it in all three colors because I was not sure which one I wanted. But this jacket is so comfortable, so perfect in weight, to even wear in a southern state in the winter or just on a chilly evening. It is, I don't know, I just love, love, love this jacket. Now in rails, I have to buy a large because my shoulders are broad. If you look, you can see that this just fits perfectly on my shoulders. It is such a great jacket. I love it. The sleeves are just a little long, but that doesn't bother me. Just roll it up once and it's fine or I wouldn't even roll it up, I would just wear it the way it is. But you do have that option if the sleeves run a little bit long. If you are just, if you have normal shoulders, you probably can wear a medium in uh, the rails because you can see it's a very blousey fit. So it's just fabulous, my friends. And it does have where you can draw it in and gather it. If it's a little too wide in your hip area, you can make it small, but you know, nothing's ever too wide in my hip area. So I am just fine with it this way. I just love this. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. It came in a beautiful green. It's kind of, it's not, it's not an army green. It's in between a sage and an army green. It's just beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. I may keep it, my friends. This jacket is, uh, it, it's normally almost $200 and it's $124 during the sale but I don't know if any of them are left. It's just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. I also 
bought it in the black because you know I got my Johnny Cash days too <laughs> but I just love it there is a flap in the back that just makes it look really stylish absolutely love this jacket so that is the rails jacket and it fits well it's just high enough around the neck so that if you wanted to bring a shirt up and put it out over it it's very very um it's very comfortable it's not stiff it's a very soft jacket really really love this jacket and i'm so glad i took advantage of ordering all three i'm not sure that i'll keep all three it depends on what else i keep but um i didn't want to miss out on any of the colors if it's sold out so i went ahead and ordered it and like i said i i think i'm leaning towards keeping it because being in the south now even though it's very very warm here year round we have been here in the month of january where we've needed sweatshirts and fleece jackets so this would be perfect if the world ever opens up again where we can live normal <laughs> all right so that is the rails jacket i just think it is really beautiful next up is from zella this is a fleece pullover it does zip down and it zips all the way up it is black and it's trimmed in a lime green this also came in a cream which i wish i would have gotten and i believe it was trimmed in pink now the sleeves do run a little bit long on this but that doesn't really bother me i just pull them up this is for when i'm walking the dogs in the month of january down here in florida because again it gets chilly but i like that it scoops down over the butt and it also scoops down in front it has pockets and it's just very very comfortable it's a very soft fleece and i believe i bought the large in this because any outerwear i usually do yes this is large because if you want to wear a bulkier shirt underneath you want this to be comfortable so i probably could have worn the medium in this but because i would probably wear a thicker style shirt under a fleece that is why I get the large but if I was wearing just very lightweight thin things under it I would probably get the medium but I also like the room that it gives me here I don't like something that's like this on me so I always go for more room for the most part I buy my clothes too big for me my friends <laughs> all right so that is the fleece jacket which I think is really really cute and the cream is beautiful well it's beige ivory something like that beautiful all right the next two tops are not part of the anniversary sale but they are tops that I purchased recently and if I wear it in a video, someone's going to ask, where did you get the top? And I didn't want so much time to go by that it would sell out. These are the same top. One is in ivory and one is in black. This is a medium that I'm wearing, so it's very, very generous. I would say that it's pretty true to size. It's just a very pretty, pretty shirt. It has that doily look on the side. The sleeves have a little bit of play to them. It's just really a beautiful, beautiful top. I just think it's so soft and feminine the ivory one is a little bit see-through so you can see your bra but the black one is not and again this is the medium that I'm wearing and it fits really really well it still has flow it's loose it's very pretty just really really pretty and then again this is the ivory just wanted to share those now we are going to move on to exercise wear I had to buy some new exercise clothes because everything I have is so old and now being in Florida we have a gym in our community so Lou and I go to the gym three to four times a week plus we walk the rest of the week so I needed some new exercise clothes but I'm very very funny about exercise clothes because I am an aging woman and my body has changed on me. I have all kinds of new things about my body that I'm trying to um, address, all right? So this is not really a comfortable thing for me to do, my friends, okay? But here I am. These are from Zella. And I don't normally go into a lot of print because when you have, you know, a little bit of thickness, it will pull the pattern apart and it doesn't really look flattering uh, what i look for in exercise pants 
is I definitely want high waisted because I don't want anything hanging over. Oh, I just realized these have a little slit to hold a key or something in it or maybe some money. Uh, but anyway, um, I don't expose much when I'm at the gym, my friends. I'm covered up. So uh, another thing I look for is that there is a diamond in the crotch so that they're not riding up. And the Zella are really nice for that. I also want exercise pants that hold me in. So these I thought were really, really nice. Sometimes when I wear them to just here, my legs will look shorter and thicker. So I always go with something a little bit longer to elongate my leg. These are from Zella. I have a lot of Zella leggings and I really do like them. I just like that they're high-waisted. I like that they hold you in. I tried Lululemon because I see them on other women and they look fabulous, but they don't really sit well with me. So, all right, so the top, this is from Zella as well. And I think this is like a boyfriend top or something, but I got it in white and pink. Now, I'm not really comfortable in this because I'm working on a little bit of back fat that's new to me with menopause. So I'm not really comfortable with this hanging out. So I'm not sure if I'll hang on to these for a little while because I am really working on my arms. I'm working on the body fat that comes with menopause. And it is, it's a commitment, it's a journey, and it can be a disappointment. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I don't know if these will be something I wear right now because they do uh, usually my shirts, they come up like this so that I feel much more comfortable keeping that hidden, okay, for now. So anyway, but it is a nice top. It's ribbed. It has a nice flow to it. It's long enough. I do sometimes like them to come a little bit longer, but I'm trying to be stylish in the gym for Lou because he's the only one ever in there with me. But anyway, it does come in the white. I think it came in other colors as well. And I did buy the large because I wanted it to be flowy. I didn't want it to be fitted like this. So this is the large and this is what it looks like in the back. So that is the cut of it. And again, it came in many, many colors. It is comfortable, but like I said, this is not a comfortable thing for me right here. So um, for now, I like to keep it covered, my friends. And I'm sure many of you understand <laughs> what I'm saying. All right, so that is the Zella. This t-shirt is from Beyond Yoga and I wanted something with long sleeves. Now the sleeves do run a little bit long on it, but that doesn't bother me because I just usually pull them up. Um, this is, you know, if you're walking to the gym or if you're walking and you just need a light layer, this is really nice. It's very, very soft. I would say menopause approved. And it does come down longer in the back, which is very nice if you want to keep all that covered. And it also comes down longer in the front. Very, very comfortable and comes in other colors. I would say for a large, it's okay for me. But I am someone who likes my clothes a little bit looser. And I probably could wear a medium and everything. But sometimes I just buy the large because it's what makes me feel more comfortable, especially for workout clothes. I don't want to feel, ugh, you know, like I'm sausage into things. So, All right, there you have it. A nice option for a long sleeve. Another workout. exercise top that I purchased. And now this one is in the large. I think I probably could have gotten the medium in this because this one is really large. This is the Boyfriend Jersey V Neck Tee. And again, I like it because it has a nice flow. It's a little bit longer than the Zella, which I don't mind. This is and what it looks like in the back. Again, it's low here, so the back fat shows a little bit. Darn back fat. We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, anyway, so I did get it in a couple of colors. I got it in the light blue. This is the gray, and it also came in a rose. I'm not sure that I will keep this one. I may exchange it for the medium. I'm in the process of trying to lose some weight. And I think once I lose a little bit of that weight, this top will be way too big for me. So then I have three of them that don't fit me. And because of this area here being exposed, I'm not comfortable wearing them just yet. So these will probably go back 
to be exchanged for mediums because I do like the feel of it. It's very, very soft and comfy. All right, this beautiful top from CC. I love this brand. I've talked about it before. They actually had a lot of them in the sale. Some of them did sell out, but they still do have uh, quite a few of them. This one here is just a black and white polka dot. It has ruching on the side of the sleeves. It comes up a little bit, it has a tiny little ruffle on the neck. It's just really a comfortable, comfortable top. I absolutely love these tops. They can be casual, they can be smart casual. You can even dress these up. Imagine this top here with a black pencil skirt. This would be beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I really do love this. Now the pants that I'm wearing, these are from Spanx and they are their ever, everywhere collection. They have a little pocket on the side, which for me is kind of useless. And I don't like having, like I said, I don't like anything on the hip area. These are, they do hold you in, but they're not as tight as some of the other Spanx that I have worn. They are very comfortable. They are they just slightly are. above the ankle and they have wide seams on them. There are seams on both sides here. There's a seam here and a seam here. They are not see-through, so you could wear these to exercise. I will say that the front right here it's a high-waisted band. It does have like rubber all along to hold it in place, but the waist is a little bit big on me, but not enough to make me return them or anything because I do like the way they hold you in. Again, not as strong as some of the other Spanx that I own. And again, it has the diamond in the center, so it's not going to ride up and it's a nice smooth fit. And there are no, like some exercise pants, they'll have a seam and then your fat bulges out. This is really smooth, so there's no real bulging anywhere. So, so I really like these. I have a couple pair of these. But one of them, when I bend over too much, they are see-through. So I, that has to, they have to pass the see-through test, my friends. I can't have anything showing. <laughs> I also right. wanted to share the Nike sneakers. I did get these in a seven. I wear anywhere from a six and a half to a seven. I will say that I don't normally have luck with Nike sneakers. I do better with Brooks Ghost and they just fit my arch and they usually have a nice wide toe area for me. I'm a little bit wide in my feet, but these actually they do fit. I haven't made the decision 100% as to whether I'm keeping them but they do feel good on the foot. I have to put my inserts in to see if they work for me. But what I really liked about them is they, are, they have an all mesh front. That is very important for me. When I am wearing a sneaker, if I wear a full leather sneaker, I wouldn't get 15 minutes down the road without my feet being on fire. For some reason, my feet, they like to be free. They like to breathe. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to keep them. I mean, they're pretty neutral. I do like that they're a, a pretty neutral color. I've never had a, a pair of sneakers this color um, without that little funky heel, but you know, that's okay too. But again, uh, they were a good savings during the anniversary sale. Once I put my inserts in them, I'll know if I'm keeping them, but I do like them a lot and they're very comfortable without my inserts. So just wanted to share those. For exercise pants, I did share these in my wish list, So I just wanted to follow up. I ordered these, these are the Zella. No, these have seams like right here and they don't come up super high. So this seam will cut in and if you have one ounce of fat, it's poking out where the seam stops. So these are not, mm, they're not menopause woman approved. They just are not. The next pair is also from Zella and they are really pretty. I love the print a lot, but they have no support. So you're jiggling in these. So I don't like my exercise clothes to do that. You know, I have to jiggle and feel it myself. I don't need to share it with the world. And these, I really wanted to love these because Sweaty Betty is supposed to be a really good brand, but these have seams that run here and here. So again, if you have any flab on your leg, it's going to be accentuated because the seam pushes in, the fat pushes out. So these are really nice if you're one of those toned up girls. I am not. 
I'm working on it, but I am not right now. So uh, these are going back and I also do not like when they have a short waistband because they don't, I need them to go up a little bit higher and these did not. And another thing is, is it had a seam in the butt. So if you have any kind of little chunk in your hip area, that is going to pop out. So if you're like me, I don't like to share any of that with anybody. I like to keep that business to myself, all right? So I'm going to end it by wearing my PJs, okay? It is pouring out right now, absolutely pouring. I mean, I'd love to say that we needed it, <laughs> but we don't. The I have a lake right behind me and it's up higher than I have ever seen it in all the years we have been coming down here. All right, so I'm wearing my Nordstrom night shirt. I absolutely love these. They are so soft, they are so comfortable. I do buy the large, I could wear the medium, but as a menopausal woman, I don't want anything clinging. So I get the large, the sleeves, I just roll them up. I bought these last year during the sale. I have the pajama sets, I have the night shirts, and this year, and I did buy this in a medium because the large probably would have been too big. I did buy the short set this year, and I bought it in the burgundy color, and it's short sleeve, and it's really cute, and I, if you think I'm trying this on, boy, you wrong. You are absolutely wrong, my friends. Anyway, uh, it's just a shirt and the shorts. I'm only wearing them in the house around Lou and in Tibet. So I am good with that. But these are just the softest PJs ever. I absolutely love them. Hi, my All friends. Right. So that is it for my very, very informal try on haul. I really was going to do the usual type of try on haul that I do, but um, it's kind of difficult for me here. I don't have, um, I haven't found all the right spots to film in my house. So we are in my bedroom today. We are using my cell phone and I'm using the light from the window. So I hope everything, you know, at least showed true to color. I don't care what I look like, but I hope the clothes show true to color. And maybe there was something that you found that you must have here. So let me so know in the comments, did you take advantage of the Nordstrom sale? And did you keep everything that you ordered? I'm pretty much going to keep mostly everything i just have to decide on the colors of a couple of items and maybe one exchange for a smaller size but the red jumpsuit is going back and the white jumpsuit is going back i'm keeping the uh, floral dress the eliza j dress that is just beautiful and uh, the black dress the pleated black dress i wanted to tell you it comes in an ivory that is also very beautiful all right my friends so thanks for stopping by hope you all have a great day don't forget if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So hit the subscribe button and the bell that notifies you of all the videos that we are putting up on YouTube. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.